Welcome back to this new video. In this short tutorial I want to show you how you can make text appear and disappear with geometry nodes in Blender. Let me show you. Alright, so first of all let's open up a new window and switch this to the geometry node editor. Then select a cube or any other mesh and click on this plus to create a new geometry node tree. Let's disconnect this group input and instead use a string to curves node. Connect it to the output and now you can type in whatever you want and it's going to appear as curves in the 3D viewport. Now it would be nice if we can control this text directly from the modifier stack. So let's take the string input and connect it to the group input. And now you can just use this text box over here and type in whatever you want. Next I want to make this text look a bit nicer. So first of all let's fill it with a fill curve note and then also extrude it upwards. This is way too much, so let's bring it down to 0.2. And if you look at the bottom side of it, you can see that it extruded each face individually. We don't want this, so let's disable individual. And we also want to have the bottom face back. So let's bring in a joint geometry node and combine the extruded mesh with the mesh that we had before. So now the bottom side is closed, but to really connect it, we also want to use a merge by distance node. However, this is only going to work if you combine it with a realize instance node. Alright, so now we have this nice 3D text and we can start to animate it. So in order to delete individual letters, we want to use a delete geometry node. And since we don't want to delete everything, we're also going to use a mesh island node. Here we have this island index output, which is going to give us an index for each vertex island, which in this case are the individual letters. And we are going to combine this with a compare node set to greater than. Now simply connect the island index into the first input and you can use the second value to make the letters appear and disappear. However, I think it would be nicer if we had a slider over here, which would make it easier to use. So to do this, let's connect the island count to the second input and then also bring in a mix node. Now you can use this factor between 0 and 1 to make the letters appear and disappear. However, if I bring this all the way up to 1, you can see that the first letter still doesn't disappear. To fix this, simply switch it from greater than to greater than or equal. Now we just need to bring this factor into the modifier stack so let's add in another group input node and connect this up. So now we can use this slider over here and let's animate it. So go to the first frame of the animation, add in a keyframe for the factor, go on a few frames and then add in another one. And if we now scrub through the timeline, you can see that each letter appears individually. And we can also just customize the text in here and it is still going to work perfectly. However, the only issue with this technique, if you have a letter like I, for example, that consists of multiple islands, you can see that both of them are gonna appear individually. But other than that, this is a nice technique to animate your text with geometry nodes. And if you wanna take a look at it again, here is the final note setup. Finally, I just quickly want to mention that you can download all the 3D assets I create on my BlenderKit profile for free. I'm going to put the link to it in the video description. Feel free to check it out. My name is Nick, see you in the next one.